What's up, y'all? I'm Rev Mimi, and I am here with another spiritual snack. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about all different types of prayer, from praying when you feel like you're in chains to praying even when you feel as though you're under attack. And today, we're going to be talking about one of the most difficult prayers to pray, a prayer that was prayed by Jesus Christ himself. In this moment, this monumental prayer that Christ prayed is found in the gospel according to Luke chapter 22, and it reads like this. He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. Every now and then, God is going to ask you to do something that you don't necessarily want to do. It might put your friendships at risk. It might put your relationship at risk, but God is asking you to do it anyway. And what are you going to do in that moment? Are you going to say, I don't want to do that. I don't know what's going to come from that. So I'm just going to stay in my lane. I'm just going to stay doing what I want to do. Or are you going to pray this prayer? The same prayer that Christ prayed and say, God, God, not my will, but your will be done. Meaning not my desires, but your desires, not my plan, God, but your plan. Are you willing to pray that prayer and understand that God's plan for you? It might come with some hardships. Amen. It might be a little bit difficult. It's definitely not going to be easy. But on the other side <laughs> and after following God and after uh, adhering to God's plan and adhering to God's calling on your life, there will be greater glory than you could have ever imagined for yourself. There's a scripture, Romans 8 verse 18 that says, for I know the suffering of this present time cannot compare to the glory which will be revealed. Understand that nothing that God puts you through is without purpose. And even if you can't figure out the purpose right now, God has always known what the mission was. God has always known what he was calling you to, the greatness that he was calling you to, uh, the glory that he was calling you to, the healing, the deliverance, whatever it is that God has for you. He's always known the plan. But I want to remind you that it's okay to be nervous. It's okay to, to ask God, to get before God, on, to fall on your knees and pray to God the same prayer that Christ prayed and say, God, listen, if you can take this cut from me, this is a little bit too heavy on me, God. This is weighing me down a little bit too much, God. I'm a little bit too stressed. I'm a little bit too overwhelmed. If you could just ease this, if you could just take this pain from me, God. But the key is to not stop there. The key is to understand that even though you're asking God to do something, you have to trust that he's only going to do what's best for you. So if you don't see him answer, if you don't hear him answer in the way that you are expecting him to answer, it's not because he doesn't have one for you. It's because it's going to look different. It's going to feel different. And it may come at a different time than what you're expecting. There's something else I don't want us to miss. And that's the fact that this prayer was so hard to pray that... Jesus needed some reinforcements. <laughs> the Bible tells us that an angel appeared and strengthened him, gave him the strength to keep praying. And here's the thing, we have reinforcements too. We have the Holy Spirit. And when you find yourself on the fence about praying this level of prayer, about getting before God and, and saying, God, not my will, but yours be done in my life. When, you, uh, when that prayer scares you a little bit too much, when you're a little bit nervous about what God is going to do, that's when you ask for the Holy Spirit to come through. That's when you ask for the Holy Spirit to step in and strengthen you and give you the words and give you the power to speak to God and let God know exactly what it is that you're feeling, exactly what it is that you're caring so that God that so that God might be made strong in your weakness. Amen. And so it's so important to remember that we're not alone in our prayer moments. We're never alone, but especially not in our prayer moments. And the same way that an angel appeared and strengthened Christ in that difficult prayer, God has gifted us with the Holy Spirit to strengthen us in our own difficult prayers. We have the power to pray through even the most difficult of prayers. And there's a saying, I don't know who said it, y'all. It's somewhere. It's on Instagram all over the place. But something that I read said, uh, you must pray the hardest when it's the hardest to pray and it's so important it's so important to pray uh, especially in the seasons where you don't want to <laughs> where you feel disconnected from God where you feel like God's plans just aren't working out the way that you wanted them to that's when you have to fall on your knees and remember that God's will for your life God's will for the lives of those around you 
far exceeds anything that you can comprehend. And if you could just allow yourself to yield your own plans so that God can move in your life, I promise you it will blow your mind. That's all I have for you guys today. Listen, we are finalizing our calendar. I'm so excited. It's going to be dropping in the next couple of weeks. So make sure that you are one, subscribed to our YouTube channel, but also that you're keeping up on all of the notifications and the emails that Kingdom Fellowship is sending out. Um, if you don't have my email or if you're not on the list, shoot me an email at revmimi at kingdom.global. Bye, y'all.